Greetings, Daniel Presedo for Adobe Photoshop. And today we're going to start a unique series that goes through the 3D menu. I'm going to go through each of these items to help you get started using Photoshop 3D. Merge 3D layers is currently not active. And the reason it's not active is that I've only have one layer selected, one 3D layer selected. If I go ahead and hold shift and select the both these layers, you'll notice that it now becomes active and I can select it. And one of the reasons you may want to merge 3D layers is you want to combine the objects to interact with one another, have the shadows fall on the other, and maybe just create a more unique scene together. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. And we're going to watch these things combine 3D elements. Now what you see here is a scale for one of the objects does not match the scale of the other object. One might be at one millimeter and one might be at a hundred feet. There is an easy remedy for this and if you go to your 3D panel go ahead and select one of the meshes. In this case I'm going to go ahead and select the ampersand and then this is the 3D panel the object. Now go to the properties panel and select this coordinates. On the bottom here or near the bottom you see reset coordinates. I'm going to go ahead and do that and all of a sudden it's brought back into the scene and I have more control of the scale of the object. If I hold my cursor over the square widget here and drag, I can increase the size of the ampersand. And now I want to move it to about the same spot here. I can say move to ground. Now we have a scene that's more closely resembles of something that I wanted to combine. And there you go. You can combine 3D layers in many different ways. In fact, if I create a new layer here and then say just create an extrusion out of that, I can't because I need something there. I'm just say create a cone. I can also hold shift, select that other layer and do command or control E. This will also combine these layers. And again, I may have to go hunting for where these objects are. In this case, I'll select the cone again, go to coordinates, reset those coordinates and I can find my object. It may look like it disappears, but it really didn't. Just go to your 3D panel and the truth is in the 3D panel and you can select that object, coordinates in the 3D properties, reset them, and then you can scale the object and move them around accordingly. I hope that helps. That's 3D Merge Layers. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the channel and thank you for watching.